Hey everyone, welcome to our first episode of Fridays with the Fiddle Fig, where we cover questions, misconceptions, and myths about real estate. Hey, I'm John Selby with the Selby team, and today's first topic is the question, really. What stays with the property and what goes during, a, during the sale or purchase of a home? Mm -hmm. The basis on it is permanently affixed items to the, either the home or the yard are what stay with a sale. So that would include things like mirrors, light fixtures, um, fans, you know, but one thing that it does not include, which is, is actually comes up quite often, is televisions that are now mounted to the walls and the mounts that go along with them. So those items are actually in the purchase contract as items that do not convey with the sale of the property. Other items that would potentially convey with the property would be unaffixed items that are actually agreed upon in the purchase agreement. So say a buyer comes to the property and falls in love with the seller's couch. They would say, you know, ask their agent, us, to write into the contract that they want the couch to be a part of the sale and the seller has a decision on whether they want to do that or not. Uh, if they do agree upon it then a ha the, the couch would be a, an item that does convey with the sale of the property. Uh, another item that actually becomes a not a controversy but something that's not a quite clear yes or no are curtains and curtain rods. So it's actually written in that the curtain rods, because they are affixed to the walls, technically convey. However, a seller can take the curtains with them. So if they love their curtains a lot and want to move it on to the next house, they're more than welcome to do that. But the curtain rods are going to have to stay unless it's obviously agreed upon in the contract. On the topic of light fixtures and fans, I'll tell you a little story. We actually had a seller one time uh, you know, not let us know up front that he was wanting to keep the fans in the house. and so. Uh, right before the close of escrow, the buyers went to the property and noticed that the fans had all been switched out with perfectly good new fans, um, and the seller had taken them with them. They informed us that they wanted the original fans, and so we had to unfortunately inform the seller that he had to put the fans back because that was what was agreed upon in the contract. But that gives you a kind of an idea of um, how that conception or how that can be a, a big question to people. The, the seller felt that he was replacing the fans with something that was perfectly good and new, uh, and the buyers had purchased the home with the understanding that those specific fans were going to be moving with the property. So a few ways to really just avoid any of this confusion is to prep beforehand. Prepare a list of things that you want to keep with the sale. Tell your real estate agent about it and if it is something that is attached, make sure that it's not only on the listing agreement with your listing agent but also that any counter offers that go out to the buyers they have specifically said that such and such items will not convey or vice versa for a buyer they're specifically saying such items will convey with the property it's very very important to be you know as clear as possible on this um, and have the conversation up front so that was our first episode of fridays with the fiddle fig we hope you enjoyed it please feel free to like our page follow us on facebook and instagram Give us your email and we'll make sure you stay up to date on the most current episodes and current questions, misconceptions, and myths about real estate. See you next Friday.